Hey guys, good morning. This is Ron Gielock, a home business entrepreneur, and today we're going to be talking about what do you do when your team members uh, quit your business? How do you handle that? Why do they quit? What do you do? So stay tuned. This is going to be an awesome video. Okay, so in this video, we're talking about uh, people quitting your team and that kind of thing. Before I even get into that, the first thing that you need to have and, and, and be in this state is, is really gratitude. You need to be thankful for the time that you did have with that team member, that you did have with that person in, in your business. Hopefully you use that as an opportunity to help them, not only in business, but some area of their life and you prayed for them, I don't, I don't know. Um, but be thankful for the time that you did have with them and just have that attitude of gratitude, okay? Now I'm gonna dive into some, some tips more specific to this. Okay, so this can be frustrating for a lot of people when you're building your business and you're having people quit and you're like, what the heck, what am I doing wrong? Why is this happening? You're not doing anything wrong. Don't listen to that negativity. Don't listen to the lies and, and all that garbage that goes in, in your head, head trash. It's no good, man. So here's what's, what's going on. When somebody quits your deal, when somebody stops using a, a tool that you promote, something like that, it's sad. Not because you're not gonna be earning money off them anymore, who cares about that? You're building a million dollar business. Um, it's sad because that person, is. this is an indication that someone has given up. They've given up on themselves, they've given up on their dreams, so it's really sad. Um, and so I do feel bad for that person. I don't feel bad that, you know, hey, I won't be getting you know, an income from them, whatever, you know? So how I handle it is like this. Um, when I see somebody has quit, I'll send them a message, hey, notice you canceled your account. I just wanted to say that I really enjoyed working with you and I wish you the best. Um, I, I you know, send an invitation, hey, I'll pray for you, like whatever. Anything that I can do to leave it off on good terms. Because most of the time, I'll say over 90% of the time, even higher than that, the person is just going to quit. They could be your best friend and they'll quit, not say a word to you, won't even answer your phone call anymore because people are thinking that you're gonna super salesman back into the deal and, and, and you know, talk them into that. That's not what you wanna do. You know, you never, here's tip number two, never chase, beg, and bug somebody to get back into the business, back into the team. It's not good, it's not duplicatable, and it's not time freedom, right? So let them go. Honestly, the best thing that you can keep doing is if you have them in a Facebook group or an email list, leave them on that list and you go and keep producing. I can't tell you how many times that when I stepped up my game and started really producing, like sponsoring every day or something like that, um, I'll have people who have quit who are seeing the production in the Facebook group or in their downline on back office and they're just like, oh my God. And they reactivate and they come back in. I had somebody do that and he went and sponsored a couple people. Had been terminated, had been canceled for months. Another time I had a guy who's, who's like done for uh, like at least eight, eight months, came back, uh, started building a business internationally. And it's because you stay focused, you keep going. Right? Like I just got a rank advancement in another company. That day I had three people quit in that, that company, in that, that lead generation system. The next day I had another person quit. The next day I had another person quit. I had a person quit today, this morning. But you know, at the same time, I have people join. I had another person join this morning. Two days ago I had another person join. Um, so you have to understand that this, that about 20%, 80% uh, of your income is gonna come from about 10 to 20% of your team and that production over there. The rest of the people, they're, they're gonna sponsor a few here and there, or they're just gonna quit, or it's gonna be, you know, they're gonna uh, attrition, okay? So your, your business is alive. It's constantly going like this, up and down, up and down. So you have, as an entrepreneur, you can't be affected by, oh, my check was $100 smaller this month than it was last month. Oh no, my business must be shrinking. No, you're running a business, you're an entrepreneur, there's ebbs and flows, right? A lot of times you have to, this is, this is a, one other thing I'm quitting that really just grinds my gears, is that you get started uh, with a system to like generate leads or something, or you buy a tool, you buy a training um, to learn how to sponsor or whatever. I've, been, I've promoted a few in this group that um, a lot of people are having great results with. Um, they buy a course or a training, never use it. They're spending the money for it, never using it. 
And it's like, well, why am I paying for this thing? Well, you, the whole reason you got started with it is so you can you can build your business. You can learn how to recruit. You can learn how to generate leads. You can, you can go forward and do this thing. And instead of actually using it, you say, oh, no, it's costing me $50 a month. It's costing me $200 a month. Let me cut that pain off. Boom. Ugh, I don't have to spend that money anymore. Yeah, but you also just delayed yourself on success. See, you have to be investing in tools, training, systems, resources to get the knowledge that you need to succeed. Watching my free videos and other internet marketing videos are on YouTube are great, but the whole idea is for you to become a professional, right? That's why I recommend these tools. That's why I recommend these services and things because it's what I do. And when people quit using them, you have to not care, okay? If you're building a big business, it doesn't matter. You think Bill Gates goes and cries himself to sleep because you switched to Apple? <laughs> he probably doesn't lose a wink, man. Um, but that's that's the idea, and and people are gonna quit. So when they do, what I do is I send them a message. Hey, I noticed you canceled your account. This is a good tip right here. Hey, I noticed you canceled your account. I just want to wish you the best of luck. I really enjoyed working with you. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help you out, let me know. Um, be blessed. If you need me to pray for you, let me know. I'm more than happy and eager to do that. So, um, again, wish you the best of luck. Wish I could have helped you out sooner. Bye. So I send that message. It's completely postured. I don't need you to come back. I just wanted to leave us off on good terms. Because if you talk to people who have been part of my business and then have quit, for whatever reason, you'll find that we're on good terms. I still have a relationship with that person. I'm still friends with that person. They would join me in another in something else, right? So that is the that is kind of the reality of, of quitters is that's nothing to do with you. That someone has just given up on themselves or their dreams, and um, that is the sad part. Um, but it doesn't mean anything about you. It's not a reflection of you. You keep going. You keep doing what you know you need to do to succeed, regardless of what other people do. Put the blinders on. Uh, this has been Ron Gilock, another video on, on uh, network marketing, recruiting, empowering you to prosper. Question, have you ever had somebody quit your team? What did you do? How did you handle that? Leave a comment below in this video. Let's talk about it. Have an awesome day.